see that I made a statement saying that the, our city is being is getting divided into two sets of people, one who want to live here and one who want to exploit the city for and make money out of it. This looks like a clear case of creating a project to please somebody rather than please the people. So we think this is the wrong move and the government really has to and you can cannot use institutions of the government which do not have political representation like BDA as an instrument of doing projects which do not benefit the people. And uh, really speaking, the government should withdraw this project in the interest of this Bangalore city and look at a holistic way to plan this city so that it becomes a livable place rather than just speed uh, uh, focus on how private vehicles can go faster and faster. I would like to summarize, summarize it as this. See, every crisis uh, for the public is not an opportunity for people in power to think up large projects from which they can make money. See, that is the worry for us. You know, any crisis that the public faces must be seen by those in power as, as a responsibility to resolve the problem. See, now the thing is they're looking at it as an opportunity to make money. That's our worry. The second thing is, they've got a master plan for the city that is now running to 2031. All the previous master plans have been observed most, mostly in the breach and in violation of the original plan. Now there is a, by the 74th amendment of the constitution, there is a duly constituted Bangalore Metropolitan Planning Committee, which has public representatives on, on board and, you know, some citizens and experts also are supposed to be there on it. The planning should be undertaken by them. BDA should stop doing its planning function because what BDA seems to do is that it makes a plan and for considerations other than, other than the public good, it, it rechanges the plan to suit some private interest. You know, it is not the, it is not serving the public interest. So we think, in fact, scrap the BDA, there is a long standing... The BDA demand. is a conflict of interest because the same agency cannot do planning and execution. Exactly. So I think you should scrap the BDA. Anyway, the planning process should be interested in MPC. You should remove this, um, this, uh, this uh, BDA's authority or powers to do planning. The RMP 2031 by process, by law, we cannot accept. Coming back to the steel flyover itself, we will say now it has become an important symbol of protest. It's an awakening of the citizens of this city. We will mass in larger numbers and we will both quantitatively and qualitatively continue to the fight the government and its plans to thrust this terrible and hideous flyover upon us against all logic and against the public interest and in, in, in the face of widespread public opposition. We will take it to the logical end legally, we will go to the highest court in the land if necessary, we will appeal uh, you know, to, whatever, uh, to whatever legal verdicts that come that seem to, that seem to encourage the government to go ahead with this. You also call for a referendum. See, the thing is, you know, in a way, we have done the referendum, right? In our way, we have done the referendum, and you can see by media coverage, by public response, by all the programs that we have done, we have seen the public is really against this plan. I know there are some people who are saying they want it, but in any project, there are some people who will say you want it. Every day, you, you media runs a poll. You'll get some people who will say you want it. Don't you go by percentages if 73 people don't want something and if six people want it, or can you say it's an equal match? It's not, right? So I'm saying democratically, people don't want it. Let's put it that way, okay? You can't do this project. And to persist with it is actually uh, an insult to public opinion and sentiment.